hello viewers welcome to my channel connect civilian so in this lecture we will see how to design a rectangular slow footing for a rectangular column okay so this is the excel sheet we are going to use for the design of the footing so these are the initial value you have to change that is the load okay so what figure we are going to change i will show you and you can get the result what uh, die of bar it is required and how much at is spacing you have to give okay so these are the step one where you have to fill the initial values for the design so this will be the your load so this will be your live plus dead load okay here we are not considering the seismic effect so you can get uh, this uh, live and dead load by the reaction that is come if you are using the software for the design of your RCC structure so from there you can get the load in the form of reaction okay so here you have to fill according to your data I am going with 500 kN of service load so this PU is your factor load or ultimate load so value will be changes by itself it is 750 now your SBC so you have to fill the your safe bearing capacity of your soil okay so here our our SBC is 200 so going with 200 only column size is 600 by 300 okay Six hundred by three hundred, or you can also change the columns according to you. I am going with four fifty by two fifty according to my dimension. Okay, if I will choose the manual calculation for thirty by two thirty, so we are going with four thirty by two thirty only. Okay, and our load is service load is five fifty, so we are going with five fifty kilonewton here. Our SBC is taking as 250. Here we have to change SBC also 250. So I'm not going to upload the manual calculation for now. Okay. So if you require that also, you can comment me. I will also upload that video. So these are the data. Unit weight of the soil you have to fill. I'm going with 18 kN per meter cube. Depth of the footing we are going to take as 1.5 meter. So it will be uh, ranges between 1 meter to 1.5 meter. You can go according to your details. Okay. And the grade of concrete for footing and grade of concrete for column. So here what uh, grade of concrete you are using to, be, to in footing. So you have to fill that. So I am going with M25 for footing and for column it is M20. Okay. So what the grade we are choosing for a column you have to fill this okay grade of steel is 415 fe 415 and the self weight percentage so you have to fill the self weight percentage of your self weight and what is that here we are considering for now as 10 percent only okay so it will be ranges from 10 percent to 15 percent according to your calculation i am going with 10 percent if there is any uh, requirement for increased self weight so we can also increase after the showing all the results okay so after filling these values these all values will be calculated by itself so self weight of the soil is 27 that will be okay total load including the self weight of footing is 605 kN okay or here you can increase the self weight by 12 percent because in manual calculation we are going with 12 percent so we can match our calculation also so here i'm going with 12 percent so our total load includes self weight of footing will be 616 kN. area of footing is coming as 2.46 meter square and difference in dimension will be 200 mm so these you don't have to change any value 
okay all you need to do you have to check your the length and the width of your footing what required length and width is coming so you have to fill according to that so so generally what you have to do after seeing the length and width by your area calculation what you have to do you have to uh, take the higher value than this okay so i am going with 2 meter as width of the footing so your length of the footing will automatically change as 2.2 as the difference is 200 mm so we are going with according to the difference okay or if you don't want to go with the calculation you can also change according to you just like this uh, your length will be if you want to take as your width will be 2 meter what is the width i will show you the width so this will be your width if this is x and this is y so this will be your width and this will be your length okay this is the plan of your footing so here is your width of the footing and you can also change the length according to you also if you, you want to increase the length of the footing as 2.5 you can also increase that okay but i am going according to the requirement right now you will see whether it is passing or not we are taking higher values because for one way and two way check it is going to fail if we go with the same dimension okay so that's why we are going with greater value than the calculated one okay now our provided area is 4.4 which is greater than our 2.46 here it is showing you okay so it is fine you can proceed further here you can check your net upper pressure which is coming as 125 kN per meter square here you have to see whether it is okay or not if it will show you not okay what you have to do you have to increase your size of the footing okay and gross soil pressure so this gross soil pressure you can check after the providing the depth okay so we will provide the depth after the calculation of the bending moment so this will be your bending moment calculation all values will be calculated you can you have to just check it whether it was right or not so your critical section is showing your udl along x direction and udn along y direction what is your x direction so this will be your x direction and this will be your y direction okay i am explaining one by one step by step what step is followed to design the footing if you don't need any trouble so just change the value what i am changing directly you can design it okay but i am going with step by step you can understand also so this will be your critical length for x and y direction so your critical distance will be same because we are uh, we are using the difference in dimension as 200 mm on both the sides that's why your critical section will uh, is coming as same for x and y both if you do it as 5 see here your critical section for your uh, x direction will be changed at 2.28885 okay now your bending moment will be calculated for x and y your ultimate moment is 161.54 and your my will be 146.85 okay now that's the footing calculation here you have to provide the offset of the footing so it will be ranges from 50 to 100 mm okay so i'm going with 75 mm so what will be the offset of the footing i will show you in figure so this this offset okay on both the sides so this will be your offset of the footing so i'm taking a 75 so this figure will showing you at 75 so all figure will be added for your understanding okay this will be the plan this will be your rebar figures and this will be your one way in x direction and one way uh, check in y direction this will be your two way check and this will be your calculation for load transfer okay so all figure will be shown in this exercise you can easily understand what value you have taken now here you have taken the offset of the footing as 75 and the edge okay what is the assume edge will be taken as 230 and what is that so this distance this bottom length will be your edge depth okay 230 so 
so here we are taking you can take from uh, 150 to 250 so I am going with 230 mm so your width of the resistance section in x direction will be 580 it is coming and width of the resistance section in y direction is 380 so all you need to do you have to change these two values and your dimension will be here coming now this dx and the dy will be your affected depth for x and y direction so what you have to do you have to provide the overall depth by yourself for the design so you generally what you have to do you have to assume according to this okay so in sloped footing you don't need to double the value for depth okay so it is coming around 335 so i'm going with 500 of total depth okay so effective depth is coming as for y direction is 444 and for x direction is 432 and your average depth is 437.8 it will be safe here cover will be provided I am going to provide as 50 mm the bottom cover bar diameter for the first layer we are providing as 12 mm and the bar diameter for second layer we are providing as 12 mm ok so this value you have to fill by yourself according to the calculated effective depth in x and y direction ok now this will be okay our depth is here it is safe for x and y both now we can go for the reinforcement check so this will be your reinforcement along x direction that is the first layer of reinforcement this orange one okay and here it will be calculated here and number of bar required is calculated as 9 number of bars okay so number of bar provided will be so this will be filled by you you only and it will be depend on your number of bar required so it is coming at 9 so you can go with 9 here you can check it will show you not ok so again you have to increase one bar more now it is ok uh, your area of bar is coming as 1130 which is greater than 1018 ok so these boxes you have to see either it was showing you ok or not if you show you so not okay then you have to increase the number of bar provided okay now here it is safe but here for clear spacing it was showing you not okay so what you have to do you have to again increase the number of bar right now it was showing you okay we have increased one more bar so this will be safe for bar in x direction so here we have provided the bar at of 12 mm of dia at 189 center center of in along x direction okay so this will be a spacing this will be your number of bar and dia will be 12 mm what we have given here okay now here it is okay now you can go for bar in y direction here it is calculated a minimum percent of steel 963.6 all values calculated number of bar required is coming as 10 so you have to again Go with the same method providing with 10 these are showing okay but here it is showing you not okay again you have to increase one more bar again it won't showing you not okay so again you have to increase and here now it is safe so now you can provide the 12 number of bar in y direction also uh, what will be the bar in y direction this green bar will be in y direction and to provide 12 mm of dia bar at 190 center to center okay so this figure you can see for the number of uh, for dia of bar and spacing that we have provided okay now bar is okay right now and we can also go for check for one way and check for two way okay all you need to do you have to go for the check for one way from is code 456 table 19 so here you just you have to use IS code 456 table number 19 I will show you so we have already done this step many times so in manual calculation for rectangular footing for square footing I have already uploaded you can check the procedure will be slightly different but the method will be same how TC will be calculated how your 
nominal share is calculated i will sh show you in the manual calculation for that also okay so in upcoming video i will also provide the manual calculation for the slope footing also but for now how tau is calculated i will show you from table number 19 or ice code 456 so this will be your percent of steel value 0.36 and this will be your and what grade we have provided for footing so we provided m25 so you have to use this interpolation table for the interpolation okay so this table is provided in front of the one mesh here so you have to fill according to that so here what you have to do in this figure you have to just change this value 0 0.43 that what a value here oh sorry the percentage is still what we have calculated here you have to fill the percentage that is 0 0.36 here it is okay now again just I am correcting it now you can go for the table where you have to see where it is 0 0.36 is coming so 0 0.36 is coming between 0 0.25 and 0 0.50 so here you have to fill 0 0.25 and 0 0.50 and for the grade of m25 we are using the in front of 0 0.25 it is 0 0.36 and 0 0.49 again you have to change 0 0.36 and 0 0.49 so our tau c dash value is coming as 0 0.417 here you have to fill that value 0 0.417 okay only you have to fill this in one way check okay for both the direction if you want to check but if you are checked in longer direction uh, uh, direction in x direction so you do need to check in y direction but we have also done that also so according to this again you have to use this here you have to change the percentage like this by clicking in this table and 0.349 is coming between the same value 0 0.25 0.50 so our value will come as 0 0.412 for tau c design here strength so now here for x direction and y direction both are same okay so we can further proceed check for two way here you don't need to change any values you don't have to do anything all you need to do you have to just see whether it will showing you safe or not okay here it is safe so you can go further if it will show you not safe so you can again uh, increase the dimension or depth of the footing or the edge depth okay and here you have to check for transfer of load now this value will be calculated here you have to see other both the values showing you safe or not so if, if it will not showing you safe i will so what you have to do you have to provide the extra dowel bar okay so minimum dowel bar we have to provide and what is dowel bar i will show you that also okay in this figure we haven't shown but in manual calculation we have already seen that i will show you in manual calculation okay see so this bar that is coming from column and bent in footing so this is dowel bar okay on both the sides so here it is said no dowel bar required but minimum requirement for dowel bar you have to provide the minimum dowel bar requirement is coming as 495 mm square so dowel bar, bar for dowel we are providing as 12 mm so number of bar for dowel you have to provide as 4 number of bars okay so you have to give 4 number of 12 mm dowel bar in footing okay and the final weight of footing is coming as 37.94 which is safe so this will depend on your self weight that we have calculated if your self weight will be less so it will show you not safe so again you have to increase the self weight at the start what we have seen here that is 12 percent okay so according to that you can check but what dimension we have provided according to that our final weight is coming at 37.94 so this will be safe for the design and here for check for development length 
so what dia bar is coming from the column you have to provide that dia bar so our is 16 mm of dia bar is coming from the column so we provide a 16 dia bar and our bar is hvd bar so you have to increase the deform by 60 percent if you are going with simple bar you don't have to increase that okay so our ld is coming as 452 and side cover we provided as 50 mm on both the footings where is the side cover you have to provide in both the sides okay these are the side covers so you have to provide so we are providing as 50 mm so our available length will be 885 so this will be sufficient for our development length so you can easily provide the development length so what will be the development length this will be your this total length will be your ld okay so here it is safe also and now you can go for design so all the procedure will be i have shown you all you need to do is to change the check for one way share from table 19 of is score 456 by using the percentile still that we have calculated 0 0.36 and 0 0.49 and grade of footing that we have given according to that you have to check from is score 456 table 19 and your all value will be according to this that only okay so our all the value will be safe in that boxes these red boxes you have to check and these green boxes you have to fill yourself okay you have to note down and these red boxes you have to check either it was showing you okay or safe or not and this green box you have to fill yourself okay if these boxes will not show you okay so according to that you have to increase your size of the call uh, footing or the depth of the footing or the grade that we have provided okay so on the, all the value will be safe in reinforcement also in checks also so you can go with the design so here we have shown you what dia bar you have to provide for the first layer in x direction and for the second in y direction and here we have also done the calculation for one way check and two way check what value we have taken for two way check you can also take the value from these figures okay so these both figures are showing you one way and two way checks and values and these are for two way checks and this figure is for your transfer of load check okay so all figure is given you can also go through all the figures and you can easily design your slope rectangular footing by using the excel sheet all you need to do is to fill the uh, your service load from the data that you have obtained from the software or from the site okay so if you like this video please subscribe to my channel I will upload the manual calculation in our upcoming class. Thank you. And one more thing here we have provided one more Excel sheet where you have considered the uh, direction different. So here we have taken the direction uh, this as Y and this one is X. So according to that also we have done the calculation. The calculation will be same, the data will be same all you have to see that all the values according to the data is changes all and the direction is also changes so you can go use both the table for the uh, design okay both are correct both are safe here is the the change only was that uh, the direction that is the axis that is x and y we have taken the x axis as parallel to the y axis sorry perpendicular to the y axis ok so both the excel sheet we have given you can down, uh, download it and design your slow footing rectangular footing easily so i will upload this excel sheet also you can download it from the link thank you